their awesome cash tokens community. So yeah, I was recent. I recently minted a um, an NFT series. Uh, it was mentioned. It's mentioned at the end of my NFT tutorial. Um, and I decided. Well, the, these images are images that my team created a couple of years ago about the BCA ABCH vision, right? And in the process of kind of gifting these to people that you know have been supportive in one way or another. Um, it came up that you know some people are feeling kind of burnt by what happened to Smart BCH. So the first thing I want to say is the cash tokens is very different from SLP and Smart BCH. So first of all, as opposed to Smart BCH, which was on a separate chain, right? Uh, cash tokens is on BCH mainnet L1. So that means it's part of BCH. And in fact, in contrast to SLP, um, these tokens are minor validated, which means they exist at the same level on the blockchain as BCH itself. They're in the UTXOs. Yeah? So this makes it a lot harder for anything to go wrong. And they have functionality, in particular the uh, parsable NFTs, that means we can build eth Ethereum-like or Ethereum near dApps, and they can have subsent fees uh, basically forever, so, you know, since BCH is committed to scaling on L1 as opposed to other chains like Ethereum, which is all mixed up with its L2s. Uh, it's still got high fees on L1, despite um, the major upgrade that they did that I, I, I don't know, I held out a little hope that that was gonna help that situation. Um, and the main thing that went wrong with Smart BCH is that, um, well, not only was it a separate blockchain, right? Which implies that you have to bridge, right? Bridging is hard. Bridging is complicated. Uh, this is why, for example, I'm, I'm kind of ambivalent about Cosmos, right? Because it's like a bajillion blockchains and you have to bridge among them all. And um, that's really complex. Like a lot of people don't want to learn how to do that, you know? It's, it's been kind of um, tiresome, tedious for me uh, as well. Um, so there really wasn't a proper bridge built. So Smart BCH was launched before there was a proper bridge. Um, and that, that was not cool, right? And I made a vlog about that um, I, at least two years ago, uh, if not more. Um, you know, kind of sounding a warning on that. Uh, I mean, I also tried to build some stuff on Smart BCH. Um, but, um, so there was no proper bridge, right? And then because it was a separate blockchain, there had to be a mechanism whereby the base token of Smart BCH, SBCH, would be pegged or exchangeable one-to-one -one for real BCH, right? Um, however, you know, uh, the people behind Smart BCH, um, and their infinite wisdom decided to give that to a centralized exchange, right? And they didn't have, as far as I know, please correct me if I'm wrong, but there, there was no, no one made any effort, it seems, to ensure that there was bankruptcy protection, right? Uh, for those funds. And so legally, effectively, uh, it seems, I haven't really, I mean, I followed it a little bit, but um, that those funds, you know, were legally commingled with the central exchanges funds, you know, on a legal basis, not a moral basis per se. This is kind of negligent all around, right? And this is the thing also that other people, uh, as well as myself, were kind of asking about, right? Um... But none of those problems exist with uh, cash tokens. Of course, there'll be new problems, right? Uh, just take a look at what the uh, BCH club slash CRC20 
people are doing with um, uh, their, the, you know, they've minted a, a token on cash tokens that they're calling cash, right? And that's its ticker. And they're going around saying that it's a cash token, right? I mean, so they're kind of playing games, right, with what it's called. And they've already got it listed on a, a centralized exchange. And they're trying to pump it, right? So you still have to watch out for pump and dump schemes, right? You still have to, um, you know, be careful of where you put your funds, right? And until there's a mature ecosystem, don't put your funds there, right? Don't, don't. Um, you know, like, let's wait until the ecosystem is mature. And also, I want to invite you to think about investing in the cash tokens ecosystem in a little, in a slightly different way, right? Uh, go through my tutorials. Uh, read up on this stuff. Um, yes, you can learn to build stuff with cash tokens. You absolutely can. Um, and I'm, I'm here to support you uh, along the way. So think about what you could build, you know, and maybe that'll pay off even more than buying, you know, Doge Cash, <laughs> which is a cool, you know, new cash token. Um, but let's not pretend it has any real value, right? You know, I've created a fungible token and I'm not pretending it has any real value, right? I've created an NFT series and I've been giving them away. Um, so, so yeah, yeah, I, I feel for, for all the pain that the smart B, BCH thing has caused people, um, but it is important to recognize and be very clear that cash tokens doesn't suffer, you know, from those issues. In fact, I, I think in my, in, you know, I just speculate, you know, like, I, I don't know for sure, but it sure seems like that if we ha didn't have ABC uh, obstructing things, that instead of SLP, we probably would have gotten something a little bit more like cash tokens, which is a much more sustainable and scalable uh, way to do tokens. Um, and then there would have never been really any need or appeal to do uh, Smart BCH. So, yeah. So anyway, um, let's keep building Bitcoin Cash.